presentation should mostly be a review for you. It's on Newton's laws. So in your engineering notebook, you can add a few things if you need to. Um, first review of Newton's laws. First law is the law of inertia. Object at rest stays at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. Then the second law is acceleration of an object is proportional to the net force acting on an object and inversely proportional to the mass. Um, another short way to write it is just F equals MA. And then the third one is, do you know it? For every action force is an equal and opposite reaction force. So let's take a look at sort of how these are applied as we see this guy going down the stairs. And look at some bowling balls. All right. So third law. In physics, you learn that forces act and react within structures. So aircraft are acted upon by forces. If the jet engine is expelling gases backwards, the engine is pushed forward. If the air is deflected downward, the airfoil is deflected upward. So there are four forces on an airplane. If you want to draw a little airplane, we have weight, lift, drag, and thrust. And its aircraft is in steady flight when all four forces are balanced. And that means it's not accelerating, it's not dropping, it's not rising, it's not slowing down. So these are the location of all the forces. It accelerates in the direction of the strongest force when it's not balanced. So if weight is stronger than lift, then it's going to start to um, drop down. So weight, again, all mass of aircraft act toward the center of the earth. The aircraft frame, fuel um, affect these. If fuel decreases during flight, so your weight actually drops the longer you fly. And payload, um, if you continue to throw passengers and cargo out of the plane, then your weight is going to drop also. And so it has to be counteracted and balanced. If you have too much weight in one place, your aircraft is not balanced, and it's not, it doesn't um, fit within that little flight envelope um, that we looked at earlier this year. So lift opposes weight, and it has to equal weight for straight and level flight. And unbalanced lift and weight cause a body to either ascend or descend, if you have more lift or if you have less lift and weight. It's generated by air movement over the wing. So again, most of this is review. Drag is the force going backwards. It's, it resists aircraft motion, and it's opposite to aircraft motion. So planes are designed to reduce and minimize drag. And the reason they do that is so you don't need as much thrust. Thrust has to um, equal drag for straight and level flight. An unbalance of drag and thrust causes slower or faster velocity. And propulsion systems produce thrust. So propulsion or engine, and we're going to start getting into specific types of propulsion um, in the forms of jet engines. So again, Newton's third law, every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. An aircraft is in steady flight when all the forces are balanced, and aircrafts accelerate in the direction of the strongest force. That's it.